Well, hello, friends. I'm glad you all are here. It's another new week. It is a Monday. I'm glad that you all are here joining me. Let me check to make sure that I've got my stuff happening here. This is going to be another good set of songs today. So, well, see a couple folks are here. So let's get started. Help me sing our opening song. When we gather, we gather together, gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together, gather together together today. Let's try it again. When we gather, we gather together, gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together, gather together together today. Now, I don't know if you remember all of the sign language to this song. We did it um, several weeks ago. Maybe the first time we, we sang together, I taught you the sign language. There are four signs to this song. So let me review those if you were, did not, if you were here the last time, we'll review them. And if you weren't here, then this is brand new. So this is the letter G. So you make two letter G's and you go around and you come together. So that's the first line. When we gather, we gather together. And actually, that is the third line too. So you actually already know half the song, right? So when we gather, we gather together. Perfect. Now the second sign is to sing. So you take little notes that come from your hands and you go, sing. Try that. Put your hands like this. Put your hands by your mouth and go, sing. Perfect. And then play, this is kind of tough. So you're gonna put your thumbs up and you're gonna put your pinkies up and you're gonna wiggle them up and down and say, play, perfect. So we sing and we play, perfect. So that's three signs so far. We got gather today in a circle and we've got sing and we've got play. Now the last one is you're going to put your hand on your elbow and you're going to go down, which is today. Here and today. So, it goes like this. When we gather, we gather together. Gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together. Gather together together today. All right, let's see if you can get all of those going. We'll go kind of slow, see if you can get those. All right, here we go, get your little G's up. When we gather, we gather together, gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together, gather together together today. Perfect. All right. Speed it up just a little bit. Here we go. Get your G's up. When we gather, we gather together, gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together, gather together together today. It's a gift to be simple. It's a gift to be free. It's a gift to come down where we ought to be. When we find ourselves in a place just right, we'll be in the valley of love and delight. All right, here we go. When we gather last time. When we gather, we gather together, gather together to sing and to play. When we gather, we gather together, gather together together today. Thank you for singing. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, since on Friday we only had a few people that were with us, um, I thought maybe we would uh, do the same thing that we did last Friday because there weren't very many people here. And so this is my spider song. So you're going to put your fingers like this. I got some good finger things. And we're going to make our spider go up 
the spout. Make that spider go up the spout. That's kind of tricky. Right? You got to put your thumb on your pinky and your pinky on your thumb. And then you're going to swish them around. Yeah. Perfect. So we say, the incy wincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. Nice. Let's try it one more time. Get your spiders up. Here we go. The incy wincy spider went up the <laughs> water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. Perfect. Good job. Well, somebody chime in here. I see there's several people watching, but um, not many people to chime in. I see Miss Erin May is with us. That's awesome. Thank you, Erin, for joining us. And we'll see who else might be joining us. Um, get my little ukulele out here. And we're going to go on a bus ride. Because I know some of you have been a while since you've been on your school bus. Some of you, I know, ride a school bus to school. Some of you get to walk, and some of you get to ride in a car. I don't know if many of you get to ride a bike to school. That would be pretty cool. Well, if you happen to ride a bus, I know the first person that you see when you get on the bus is your bus driver. Now, maybe she greets you in the morning, or he greets you in the morning, and she says, Good morning, how are you? And you say, good morning, good morning. And then you find your way to the bus. But if the bus starts to fill up, your bus driver might tell you, move on back now because we got more kids that we need to pick up. So the bus driver says, the, wheel, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. You can make your wheels go around like this. Perfect. The wheels on the bus go around. Let's try it. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. All my friends from Oxford Grand are here. Yay! Well, the driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. Then the students on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. Then the students on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Well, maybe sometimes you ride that bus, I don't know, to the grocery store, or maybe you ride it to the to the go shopping. Maybe you ride it to go out to the, the the zoo. That would be pretty fun. And if you do, then your mamas might be with you. And then your mamas are saying, the mamas on the bus say, shh 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 shh. The mamas on the bus say, shh shh shh, all through the town. Because you see the babies. They were not being very quiet because they were saying this. Well, the babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. Then if your daddies are with you, the daddies might say, well, the daddies on the bus say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Then the daddies on the bus say, I love you, all through the town. Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. 
excellent, good singing today. Great job. Well, I'm gonna let Mr. Chokey out because he came in my in my studio here and, and now he can't get out. So wait just a second, I'm gonna let Mr. Chokey out. All those dogs, they are just pretty crazy. They want in, they want out, they want in, they want out. I hear dogs like that sometimes. They just can't make up their mind whether they want to be in or they want to be out. I just never understand. Well, let's try this one because it's a rhyming song. And I've got a rhyming song at the end of our time together today that we're going to do. But this one is one of my favorite rhyming songs because it's a rhyming song that has animals in it. And you have to rhyme with, like, cat. And you have to rhyme with dog. And you have to rhyme with pig. And maybe you have to rhyme with whale. Big old giant whale in the ocean. And I think we even have llamas in this song. Because it goes like this. You guys might, might know this. The, the, it's, um, it's down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Yeah, I bet you remember it. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mama would say, Have you ever seen a cat wearing a hat? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, how about a dog? Have you ever seen a dog sitting on a log down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home? I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, how about a pig? Have you ever seen a pig wearing a wig down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, have you ever seen a whale with a polka dot tail, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, have you ever seen a llama wearing pajamas down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, have you ever had a time when you couldn't think up a rhyme? Down by the bay, last time, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, have you ever had a time when you couldn't think up a rhyme? Down by the bay. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope that you got some rhyming. You know what you can do is you could put some of those animals and their rhymes into the, into the chat. And then the next time we do that, they would be there and I'd be able to find some more animals. We did cat and dog and pig and whale and llama today. So we did five today, but... We could do a whole bunch more if we wanted to, so you might think about that. All right, well, it's time for our story, because you see, today I've got a story about a guy whose name is Peg Leg Joe. Now you see, Peg Leg Joe lived a long time ago. Peg Leg lived in the South so long ago there was still slavery in the South. Now you see, Pegleg, Pegleg was a white guy, so Pegleg could go around to all the different plantations, working on the plantations. He would, he would do all kinds of things on the plantations. And because he was white, he could go just about anywhere he wanted. Now you see, Pegleg, 
They called him Peg Leg, you see, because he lost a leg one time when he was working. And they just put a, a wooden stump in place of that leg that he had lost when he was working. So they called him Peg Leg. Well, Peg Leg, his job, although he did different things on the plantation, was really not to help the plantation owner. His job was a part of the Underground Railroad. Now, some of you may have heard about the Underground Railroad. It wasn't a railroad that happened above ground like the regular railroads. And it wasn't really a railroad that was actually underground. It was the railroad that helped the slaves flee from the south to go to the north. Well, Peg Leg, whenever he went on those plantations, he had a song that he would sing. Wherever he would win, he would sing the song. He would say, follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. Wherever Peg Leg would win, that was the song that he would sing. He would be standing up on a roof of a barn, mending one of those shingles, and you could hear him say, Follow the drinking gourd. Or maybe he would be out mending a fence. Follow the drinking gourd. Or up by the barn door. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. Wherever Peg Leg went, that was the song that you could hear him singing. From sun up to sun down. Well, one day there was a young African slave girl. And she was walking towards the barn, and Peg Leg was walking away from the barn down the path. And as they almost met on the path, their eyes almost met, and the young slave girl put her eyes down because she was not supposed to look at a white person unless she was spoken to first. And so Pegleg saw that she tipped her eyes to the ground, and so he spoke to her first, and he said, Good morning. And the young slave girl raised her head up, and she said, Good morning. And Pegleg could tell that there was something on this young slave girl's mind that morning. And so Pegleg said, Is there something that you want to ask me? The young girl stopped for just a moment and looked to the ground, and looked up at Peg Leg, and then looked to the ground again, and then looked up again, and she said, Yeah, there is something that I want to ask you. She said, Every day you sing that song about follow the drinking gourd. And I don't understand how the drinking gourd over there on the stump by the pump where I get my water how that drinking gourd over there is going to get me to freedom. And Peg Leg said, Are you going to be around the campfire tonight? She said, Why, yes, I'll be around the campfire tonight. Peg Leg said, Well, tonight, you come and I'll tell you about how the drinking gourd will get you to freedom. And she said, Okay. And she turned around and she headed back down that path, back towards the field, where she had a whole day's worth of work still ahead of her. Well, as she turned to go, you know what Peg Leg sang one last time, just because she was walking away. She said, follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is a-waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gold. Well, that night around the campfire, the young slave girl was sitting on one side of the of the fire, and Peg Leg was happened to be sitting on the other side of the fire, and Peg Leg was looking at that young slave girl, and she was looking at Peg Leg, kind of steely eyed, kind of staring at her, and Peg Leg said. So, do you want to know how drinking gourd is going to get you to freedom? 
She said, yes, I do. Pegleg said, look up to the sky and tell me what you see. So that young slave girl looked up to the sky. For a long time, she stared at the sky. And then all of a sudden, she got a big smile on her face because she saw something. She saw something that was the brightest star in the whole sky. And she remembered what her grandma had said about that bright star, which was really a part of a constellation of stars that looked like that dipper over by the pump where she got her water. And so Pegleg said, yeah, it's the, it's the big dipper. And she remembered that her grandma said that that north star, that really bright star, was the star that pointed to the north. And so Pegleg said, well, now you are ready for the rest of the story. And so he said, I'm going to give you the map. And she said, oh, you can't give me a map. If you give me a map and the slave master catches me with the map, he will kill me. Pegleg said, oh, I'm not talking about a map that you put on a piece of paper. He said, I'm talking about a, a map that you put in your head and in your heart. Because Pegleg said, the things that we put in our head and in our heart, you can never steal those things away from us. She said, okay, well, then I guess I'm ready for the map. And so Pegleg said, When the sun comes back and the first quail calls, follow the drinking bowl. For the old man's a waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking bowl. Follow the drinking bowl. Follow the drinking bowl. For the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drink and go Now the river banks make a mighty good road The dead trees will show you the way Left foot, peg foot, traveling on Just follow the drink and go Help me sing it Follow the drink and go Follow the drinking goal For the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom If you follow the drinking goal Now the river banks make a mighty good road Dead trees will show you the way Left foot, peg foot, traveling on, just follow the drinking gourd. Help me sing it. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. Now here's the most amazing thing about the drinking gourd. If you go outside tonight and you look up in the sky and maybe you, you, you can go to a place where there's not a lot of city lights. I know some of my friends live out in the country. And if you look up in the sky and you look to the north and you find that really bright star, you know what you can see? You can still see the Big Dipper pointing to the north. And if you listen really carefully, close your eyes, sometimes I can hear the voices of the ancestors singing. Follow the drinking goal, follow the drinking goal, for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the dream. Well, 
I'm in the mood for dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some dancing. Dancing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for dancing today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Now, I know some of you out there love to dance because you I've, you told me that you like to dance. So get up, find yourself a little dancing spot, and give yourself a little dance. I'm in the mood for some dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some dancing. Dancing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for dancing today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. How about a little singing? Help me sing. I'm in the mood for some singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some singing. Singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for singing today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. How about clapping your hands really loud all the way so I can hear them? Here we go. I'm in the mood for some clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some clapping, clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for clapping today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Now you can put all three of them together. You can dance, you can sing, and you can clap. Let's put them together. I'm in the mood for some dancing. Hey, how about you? Now some singing. I'm in the mood for some singing. Hey, how about you? Now some clapping. I'm in the mood for some clapping. Clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for all of that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. One last time, let's do a little singing. I'm in the mood for some singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for some singing. Singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for singing today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Oh, yeah! Excellent job! Good dancing, good singing, good clapping. Excellent. Well, our time is up. We have come to the top of the hour, wherever you are. It's the top of the hour. So we have one last song to sing. We have to say goodbye to our friends. So get your friends up. Remember, one friend, two friends. There's our sign language for friends. Yeah? All right, let's try it. Friends, friends, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Friends, friends, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Let's do it one more time. Friends, friends, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Friends. Friends, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Thank you, friends, for joining me today. I'll see you the next time. Take care. Be good to each other.